Good day, everyone. Hope you have a lovely day. So, here we have some kind of urgent job. We have a laptop that is coming from another computer repair shop. Uh, they said the laptop came in to their workshop as water damaged. They tried to clean the motherboard. Now, the laptop is coming on, but you don't have backlight. These are some kind of very urgent job. So, what we have, we have like it's now about 10 past one. We have uh, something like 20 to 30 minutes to fix this laptop. If you can't fix, the owner is, is traveling to another town. Maybe he might try to, to get it fixed where he's going. So let's see if we can work within that small piece of time and try to help the customer. Um, the laptop, this is the laptop, it's a Lenovo IGPad 1 14 IG IGL 7. That's the model of this Lenovo. So, let's see what we have. So, they disconnected the BIOS battery, the BIOS battery was disconnected. And the main battery was disconnected. I don't know why. But I would love to put all the cables together. And press the power on switch. You can see the white light. That's the power on light. Uh, yeah, we have something. You can see. You can see dim display. You can see the writing here. We have some writing here. Hope we are seeing the writing, but we don't have light. So that's the problem of this uh, Lenovo. Even if we adjust brightness, still we don't have uh, light. We don't have backlight. So we know, we know the motherboard is fine, but our problem is the backlight. All the backlight. We explain so many videos on how the brake light circuit is working on laptop motherboard. We have 19 volts for to power on the screen for, for, for the brightness to power on the screen, and we have some signals which are working with 3.3 volts. The other one is to power on the screen, and the other one is to adjust brightness. You might have a LED PWM and a LED enable to adjust brightness. So, if you have picture but no light, I would say 100% sure the 19 volts is missing on the screen side. But let's, co let's confirm that. We have the screen connector here. I think we can go under microscope. One second. Let's see what do we have here. Here we have a screen connector. This is the LVDS for the screen. This one. And uh, here uh, we have a path here. We have this MOSFET which is switching through this black fuse. And we have something like two pins together. And it's coming through this ceramic capacitor. If I check on the other side, we have almost the same configuration. We have this MOSFET, small fuse, ceramic capacitors, and the three pins together. So one fuse is to 3.3 and the other one is to, to 19. But here, here we have a battery voltage, so I'm expecting to have like 11 12 volts here 11 on the output of this fuse we have zero this fuse is not is not passing the the 11 volts what about the other fuse the other fuse is the which i believe this is the 3.3 3.3 after the fuse 3.3. So exactly what I told you. If we, the bat, if the charger is connected here, that must be the the voltage for the 
That must be the voltage for, for the charger. We must have 19 volts there. So let me disconnect the battery. Diode mode. Let's check the fuse. This one. This one is okay. In the other fuse. That fuse is blown up. Um, how can I do it for you to see? This fuse is okay, but this one is our problem. You see that black thing? Uh, Where are we? Here. So that fuse is the problem. So let's see how we can fix this. A fuse is a fuse. Let's see. Let's come with our own fuse. I don't think that fuse is blown up because of a short. I don't think so. But we'll see. If we have a secondary problem, we'll see about that. We don't have much space here. Let's see which side is ground and which one is the plus. We need a wire. Let's come with our own fuse here. I think that's all what you have to do. Let's check for short. Because we don't want to short anything there. Fine. Let's take out this. Good. What you can do there. Maybe. 
you can use some little bit of of hot glue just to insulate that solder so nice so let's see let's see what we have now let's see if you have a working laptop connecting back the battery Power on the laptop is on, and we have lights. Huh? It's working. You see the writing? You see the light? So that's how you fix back backlight issues on a, on laptop motherboard. We have to pay attention to important signals, the 19 volts and the uh, and uh, and the 3.3. In most cases, we have picture no light. Check those signals. Maybe the 19 volts is missing. Maybe the 3.3 is missing. In our case, that was a blown up fuse. We have two fuses. One is connected to 3.3 volts. And the other one is connected to 19 volt. That was just uh, an easy repair. So like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Also share our videos to beloved friends and relatives. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.